Hi, I'm Rick Morton, and welcome to Profiles for the 2001 BBSI in Las Vegas, coming to you from the uh, beautiful Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel here in South Beach, Miami. What a great place this is. Uh, we're going to show you around this beautiful property as we go through the show. Uh, actually, two towers here. If you see behind me over this shoulder is the brand new Lowe's Tower built just in 1998, the newest hotel, by the way, here in Miami Beach. And over this shoulder is the original St. Moritz Hotel, which is now part of this complex, actually a historic landmark built back in um, 1939, I think. We have come here to Miami with our good friends Bert Carter and Susie Fields of Salon Training International and YourBeautyNetwork.com. We're going to talk to them about some real exciting news that they have for you and find out what's going on with, uh, with their very, very up-and-coming and growing company. In the meantime, here's a look at what's coming up on this edition of Profiles. All of that, plus we'll show you around this beautiful Lowe's Miami Beach Resort here in South Beach, Miami. So let's get started with Profiles for 2001. Well, we are uh, back once again in North Hollywood here in Southern California, the home of OPI. For those of you who uh, may not be aware, this is a milestone year for OPI because they're celebrating their 20th birthday. It was uh, 20 years ago that George Schaefer decided to get out of the dental business and get into the nail business. And uh, it has been one uphill growth ever since. This company has done so amazingly well. They're looking uh, at $75 million in sales. Uh, a couple of years into the business, I think they did two million. They have a lot of employees. They have a tremendous reputation in the beauty industry. And of course, that comes from George Schaefer and also from Susie Weiss Fishman. We thought we'd bring you here and meet some of the people that have been at this company for a long time and give you a little bit of an insight into why this is one of the most successful companies in the entire professional beauty industry. OPI is 20 years old. 20 years has brought a tremendous amount of success and a great amount of recognition to OPI. George Schaefer has become truly one of a kind in an industry that seems to be full of Me Too's and copycats. Everyone seems to know that this is a company run by a man with a lot of heart and a man who started with practically nothing. Yellow cab driver. New York City. Why a cab driver? To learn how to drive. <laughs> it's a challenge. Money. Came not the money. Didn't have any. And it was a fast way to make a dollar. And it worked. For how long? Uh, it was... Uh, I was going to school, and uh, easy to do after hours, and I thought I could do it, you know, nonstop. And I did it for one day, and uh, gave me a lesson never to uh, do that again. <laughs> if you visit OPI now, you're likely to see the remnants of George's early career as a cab driver. His golf cart, as well as other toy trucks, take him among the dozen or so buildings that now make up the OPI compound in North Hollywood. This new warehouse is just the latest addition as the OPI growth continues, and it was a good place to talk with George about the business. How many square feet for this particular warehouse? Yeah. It holds, I don't know exactly, it holds like 2,400 pallets. Wow, wow. Let's talk about distribution, because that's what the warehouse, of course, is all about. You've been probably the most outspoken person, yes. Moi? Moi in the beauty industry about the industry, about distribution, about changes in the industry, about changes that you think should take place. What's changed over the last few years that you've been so vocal? Well, the big C word, obviously, a consolidation. Uh, natural progression, I would call it. A little Dar Dar Darwinian. The Hungarian's coming out. Uh, I think uh, the bigger getting bigger and the smaller getting smaller and, uh, and disappearing. And I think it goes for manufacturers, distributors, and salons. You know, the chains are growing also. And uh, you just have to keep up with them. And in a way it's good, in a way it's bad, which is uh, 
nebulous. If you had the opportunity, if I were a small company, say I'm an upstart company, and I, I saw you at the BBSI, I came up to you and I said, Mr. Schaefer, you know, I, I've just started a small nail company and I don't really know, you know, what's going to happen, what to do. What kind of advice would you give somebody who's starting out a small nail company? Would you tell them to do it? Would you tell them to not try? Would you, what would you say to them? Well, I would say try to be unique. I wouldn't discourage anybody. I started from zero and people said I was crazy. Uh, I think the beauty industry, one of the nice things is uh, it's a people to people industry. The salon ulti ultimately always goes back to the operator and, and the person, uh, you know, touching and feeling. And I think uh, manufacturer, if you have a unique idea, there, there are smaller distributors around, single line distributors that only handle hair maybe, and uh, that's the way the skin guys are, skin guys are growing. And uh, I think there's room for everybody. Just come out with a product that's not a me too. That's a significant point. And uh, be honest with people. You know. Where do you think the industry's going? Professional, beauty, hair, nails, where's it going? I think consolidation uh, will be peaking at a certain point. Probably the light is at the end of the tunnel next couple of years. Uh, I think the industry is growing uh, uh, on a steady pattern and I think next couple of years we'll reach a certain point that it'll sort of level out. Uh, I think it has, has to reach out. Uh, a couple of years ago I spoke about reaching out to the public. The retail sales have to continuously grow. I see some of the uh, manufacturers touching a little bit of direct retail through Nordstrom's and other people. I think that's a very fine line. Uh, some of the open distribution, that's another way of touching it. Uh, we go through by going to the salons, but I think ultimately you need to grow the pie. And I think that's the secret that all of us are trying to do. I mean, my advertising reaches out to the public, has been for the past eight years now. And I think we need to incentivize some way and invent a way for the salons to really understand this and reach out and sell to the public. Or else? Or else I'm very concerned. How do you maintain growth year after year? Over the years, the image of OPI, especially in advertising, has continued to change. And now more than ever, advertising and marketing has become one of the most important and one of the most heavily funded departments at OPI. The marketing and advertising department here probably spends more money than any other department. Uh, we just, George is always joking us that we have carte blanche. We spend more money than his wife, which he says is pretty hard to do. But um, it's really an indication of the freedom that we have to, to spread our wings, to, to look as far as we can to come up with the best solutions to all the design and marketing problems. When we present something to George, we're never looking at it from a budgetary point of view necessarily. I mean, overall, we're always thinking about budgets, but we're really thinking about the end result and the impact that we can make. So what happens is that the marketing people, the designers, they, they have free reign to look in all directions for a solution, and they're not, they're not inhibited by restrictions like that. And that's one of the great things about working for George is that he's looking for quality all the time and he never wants to be second best, he never wants to cut any corners, he wants nothing but the best for us as his employees and how he wants to look outside as well. The name OPI has become synonymous with class and quality, which could be why when the company introduces a brand new color collection as they've just done with the new World Collection with the Beverly Hills Luncheon, Beauty editors from the country's top magazines come to find out what Susie has come up with now. There are certain personalities and people that represent different categories in beauty that we rely on as our sort of forecasters for color trends and textures, and Susie is definitely one of those people that we use as a resource. Susie, I would imagine all the beauty editors that come to these events, they want to know the same kind of things that most people want to know, which is where the names come from. Do they give you, do these people now, do they give you suggestions for name? I mean, does the woman from Vogue come up to you and say, hey, I've got a great name for you? No, they actually come to us for, for suggestions and recommendations. And what's nice about it, that 10 years ago, the consumer magazines did not know what the professional beauty industry was. And they would never go to somebody like OPI, which was a you know, professional nail care company, 
to get the latest trends. And here we are in 2001 at the OPI 20th year uh, luncheon. And guess who they asked for what the next trends for spring 2002 are? From OPI and myself. They want to know the colors, the trends, the nail shapes. So that's where we have gotten in this industry. And that's where OPI is at this stage. We are the, the authority. Natalie Azer Meskel, you say it right? Right? Yes. Okay, with the brand new Style Network television program. But you don't know the name of it yet, right? Yes, I don't okay. know the name of it. She's going to go through all the nails, the new colors on the new OPI World Collection celebrating the 20 colorful years of OPI. Go ahead, what are all the names? Here's your big chance. <laughs> 20 candles on my cake. Matador Red. Marverita, por favor. Ooh, that one's a good one. Uh, let's see, we've got International Dateline. Ooh, Black Tie Optional. OPI and Apple Pie. Out of This World. Grape Wall of China. <laughs> That's cute, huh? Queen of Denial. Ooh, I like that one. Russian to a Party. A new color collection is always worth celebrating, but a new collection plus 20 years in business is worth the cake. And George and Susie got one this time. You know, one thing George has done right over the years is hire good people who stay with the company a long time. A recent addition has been Bill Halfacre, now OPI's Vice President of Sales. I think the future's exciting. I think uh, OPI has grown year after year. We look forward to the future. We're going to have continued growth. I think our business will continue to change. We will have to be flexible with those changes, and I think we're on top of that. There are new categories that we'll enter into, and we're very excited about the next 10, 15 years. I set a goal for the next five, 10 years. I'm, I'm looking at 65 probably is probably a keystone age, although 55 is probably closer. I can't imagine retiring. I just, it's a scary thought. I've seen too many people retire and just either fade away or just die. It's not a process that I want to get myself involved in. Uh, I love what I do. I have the help that I need to enable me to, to think a little bit, go, go on trips, see clients. and I don't worry about the day-to-day -to -day too much, although I am involved in almost everything in one way or another. Uh, I see the business going to $100 million. I mean, I have no doubt about that. I see certain developments in the business that uh, are still there. Uh, we're developing the coal line, which is standing on its own, for example. And I think the way to grow pedicure very recently, the way to grow is to start and open new frontiers, and that's what we, we want to do in our business. came down here to uh, the beach at South Beach to look for Bert and Susie because we haven't seen him for a while and I had heard of course that she was giving uh, training classes up and down the beach free uh, just to be nice but uh, we haven't found her so far and as you can see a storm is brewing here it happens about uh, two o'clock three o'clock in the afternoon almost every afternoon in the summer in South Florida you see these storm clouds blue brewing in the west and they they come across and hit the beach and everybody ups and leaves the beach and goes home and then pretty soon a couple hours later the clouds clear the sun comes out and it's hot it's dropped from about um, 95 degrees uh, 10 or 15 minutes ago down to probably now about 85 degrees so the temperature is dropping storm clouds are coming in we're gonna get hit with a big one we'll be back with uh, more profiles from South Beach right after this Fashion, style, substance. It's in a class by itself. Where do you reach over 426,000 industry professionals? Salon News gives you the competitive edge with maximum image enhancement, salon owner concentration, consumer advertising at no additional cost. The Salon News Lookbook, the industry's first consumer magazine for professional products. Salon News delivers your message first, before the competition. Stop by booth number 30 to learn more about Salon News. 
John, this is no artificial fragrances, no artificial color, no sodium laurel or laureth sulfate. Did you know that? No petrochemicals or harsh preservatives, no animal testing, and pho balanced. What is pho balanced? You tell me. John <laughs> Ohanessian <laughs> is the president of uh, Bosley Medical, huge company that does more hair restorations for men around the world than anybody. Uh, now, of course, with a, a hair care line that is very unique, very different. It's going to make a big difference in your bottom line if you're going to become a Bosley distributor. We'll tell you when we come back here with John and all the people here in Beverly Hills in Southern California. Don't go away. Fa balance. I don't get that. Symposium is the little engine that could. It started five years ago with no attendance, no sponsors, nothing. And it took a group of people really dedicated to it to build it into something that now has achieved a buzz in the industry. And it's a, it's a very fun event, my personal favorite. And we have reached 1,600 attendees. It's a business only event focused on salon owners. But what we've done that's really good and smart was because we listened to people. We listened to attendees who said, I'm a salon owner, I can't come to that event by myself. I have to express to my whole staff what I'm learning. And it's about, um, bringing to this educational event a life cycle of education. So we invite students to a beacon program which exposes them to business and a curriculum that they're not aware of in an only technical world. We invite salon owners independent across the country, Canada and Puerto Rico, to the main event where they're exposed to out of the industry speakers, different thinkers, thought leaders, and then we invite that higher echelon of five million dollar plus salon owners who are more at the end of their career, they're evolving their business, they're thinking of selling, they're trying to carry on their legacy. We call that the Great Idea Factory. All those events from Beacon to the Great Idea Factory come together at Symposium and it's a, it's a proud feather in our cap under the One Roof community that we can deliver this to salon owners. One of the most exciting events we have uh, under our roof is the North American Hairstyling Awards, NAHA. We're going to be celebrating our 13th year coming up this January in Miami. And we're looking forward to kind of that next step. Uh, Naha's gradually taken steps over the past 13 years, and inch by inch we're getting there. Uh, we're talking to some uh, trade partners and possibly, possibly some uh, out of the industry partners about really, really in the next, say, three or four years. Uh, taking Naha uh, far, very far. One of the things I'm really psyched about is OneRoof.org. It's going to be a, a, a fantastic place for people to go, uh, to go out and get information about what OneRoof is doing. Uh, it's not about e-commerce, We're not. there's nothing going to be sold over the internet. It's going to be what's OneRoof doing, what kind of programs are we offering, what kind of education are we doing, what information on trade shows, is it statistics, is it research. Uh, it's really going to be fantastic and uh, we're really looking forward to uh, you know, bringing some new d diverse products and some new diverse ideas and information to our membership. It's going to be really, really exciting. You know, I love it when uh, I get to stay close to home, and of course I live in Southern California, when my uh, old friend Stephen Muro called me and said, I'd like you to come down to Beverly Hills and meet the people at Bosley Medical. I said, but Stephen, I have all my hair. And he said, no, it's not about that. It's about the new product line. I said, oh, that. Um, I've known Stephen for a long time, and he, of course, uh, at Fusion Marketing is now consulting to uh, Bosley Medical. This company is tremendously unique, and we're going to take you inside, and you're going to meet the people that are responsible for what could change your life as a distributor if you listen to what it is they tell you. This company's about 27 years old. Um, Dr. Bosley is probably the single most respected pioneer in hair restoration services. This company is in 42 cities around the country. They have surgery clinics, surgical centers in 12 cities. Um, their website gets 60 or 65,000 hits a month. They are on infomercials all the time for the last seven or eight years. If you haven't seen their infomercial, you just haven't been watching television. They now have six very, very unique products that have been developed by the people that seem to know more about taking care 
of healthy hair than anybody. And of course, the people that come to Bosley are the people that want the very best in hair care because they're quite frankly afraid that they're losing theirs. So when this company develops a product line, you know it's got to be the best or they're simply not going to do it. You now, as a distributor, have the opportunity to be a part of Bosley Medical and to put this hair care line in your salons. We're going to tell you how you can do it, and more important, we're going to tell you why it's the right thing to do. Trained by Dr. L. Lee Bosley. Today, Bosley this is perhaps what you first think of when you hear the name Bosley, the Bosley Medical Hair Restoration infomercial that has run literally thousands of times on national television, making the name Bosley synonymous with restoring a full head of healthy hair. We're dedicated to our patients' welfare. We're dedicated to their appearance. And nothing is more important to us that a patient looks good and he's happy with his results. Here at the Bosley offices in Beverly Hills, I got to see firsthand how the medical side of this company has become so successful. The fact is, they simply do this better than anyone else. Now Bosley has taken that experience and created consumer versions of the products they've been recommending to patients who simply want to slow down the thinning hair process. For the first time, salons will be able to offer their clients, especially male clients, a real solution for thinning hair. George Fedig is Bosley's Vice President of Marketing and the man responsible for bringing this tremendous new profit opportunity to full service distributors in the beauty industry. It is exciting. Uh, Bosley, as you know, is, is uh, probably the most famous name in hair restoration. You know, we're a very large company. We have 40, 40 offices around the country and we have uh, been in business for 27 years and um, we think we know a lot about hair and certainly Dr. Bosley being a dermatologist and being a pioneer in this industry knows a lot about hair and how it grows and, and how to keep it healthy. So many years ago he came up with a line of products for our clients and our patients. Uh, as they come in uh, to use after the surgery, not to grow the hair, not to maintain the hair, but to make it look thicker and fuller because most of the people that come in to see us have thinner uh, looking hair to start with and some of them are of course losing their hair. Professional beauty industry of course is all about distribution as you well know. Yes. Distributors are our friends and uh, a very important part of obviously what, what you plan to accomplish here. What is it that you're going to be offering beauty supply distributors that they haven't been offered before? Well, I've been told by the distributors as we, as we talk to them across the country, uh, right away they say this is different. No one has ever tried to sort of um, tie these, the, the sort of the medical positioning in uh, uh, as, as directly as, as we are. Uh, it is different. It is um, uh, a product line that is 100% natural, and I mean that, 100% natural, the, the fragrance, the, uh, uh, the uh, color all of the ingredients, even the preservative is a natural food grade uh, preservative. Uh, so they're a very gentle, uh, um, all natural line. That is, that is different from the, from the outset. Um, secondly, this is a line of uh, products that will be advertised nationally on television. Now, you don't hear that very, very much at all. One of the ways we're able to do that is because we're a very large and powerful advertiser on the hair transplantation, excuse me, the hair transplantation side of the business. We run infomercials day and night in 40 cities as well as national cable television each and every day. Uh, we've recently <coughs> taken our infomercial and edited it to the point where we put a 30 second <coughs> spot directly to support salons for this healthy hair line of products on the back end of the infomercial and that will start airing in September of this year. Uh, nationally and will run every month so we will direct people to the salons directly from our advertising as well as our website. Bottom line for distributors of course is money. How are you telling them they're going to make incremental dollars from this product line? Well again it's a different, a different type of a line, it's an all natural line. It, we're going to drive folks into the salon directly from the advertising to purchase the products. The Bosley name is already well known and associated with healthy hair, if you will, and, and, the, and the replacement of hair uh, and uh, the medical side of the business. So it is, is a little bit of a different twist. Um, there'll be good margin in it for both the uh, retailer as well as the distributor. Uh, it's, it's a very profitable line for them. We're really looking for um, the, the, a core group of salons, the, uh, you know, a salon that is interested in education as well as um, experimenting with a, a new line that's, that's heavily supported. Uh, and the distributors that have those salons in their uh, group of customers are the ones that we'll be seeking out at the uh, BBSI. Well, I'm uh, just kind of wandering around the ninth floor here uh, at the Bosley building in Beverly Hills. I'm part of the mailroom operation here, and I wanted to bring you here because it's, it's very interesting. From the distributor standpoint, 
you should understand what this company is going to mean to the professional beauty industry. Uh, 27 years in business, this company. Of course, they're on television in, I think, 40, 42 major markets, practically 24 hours a day. Somebody is watching a Bosley uh, medical infomercial. What that means to you, the distributor, of course, is that ultimately that is going to help drive consumers into salons because now, look at this. I got a nice cone here, by the way. Um, look at this. I mean, here's a package. This one is going to uh, Metairie, Louisiana. Uh, this one's going to Orange, California. They almost could have driven that one down. This one's going to Atlanta, Georgia. 30,000 people call this operation every single month because they have seen the national advertising, they've seen the infomercials, which of course are on almost 24 hours a day in about 42 markets. Interestingly about the infomercial, if you haven't seen one, by the way, you've probably been living in a cave for the last seven or 10 years. Now the Bosley Medical infomercials have been re-edited to include a 30 second commercial on the product line. So as a distributor, you are going to have an unbelievable advantage because you're going to get national advertisement in every single major market in this country almost 24 hours a day at some place. People are going to hear not only about uh, hair restoration, but they're going to hear about the fact that now salons are carrying the professional product line, the Bosley product line that is going to be available for sale at the salon level. It's a tremendous amount of advertising for you, the distributor, and if you're part of all this, the bottom line is all for you. Uh, Stephen Muro is my old friend. We've known each other for many, many years in the beauty industry and, of course, the president of Fusion Marketing and uh, one of the most successful marketing companies in the beauty industry. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Now heavily involved with uh, the people here in the East Tower uh, 9100 Wilshire, uh, Bosley Medical. What a name this company has. And I wanted to, um, to talk to Stephen a bit about the products themselves, because the fact of the matter is, I mean, we've seen a lot of products in the beauty industry. You've seen them, I've Absolutely. seen them. Um, everybody has something new, there's always something new, but there is something truly unique about what this company is doing with the professional beauty industry, because the fact of the matter is, they don't have to be here. That's right. You know? I mean, right. this building didn't come from shampoo. Uh. What? Tell me the story. I mean, what is it you're after? What are they going to try to do? Well, like I was saying to you before, um, it's really more than just shampoo, and it's really more than just conditioner. You know, traditionally manufacturers get into the business, they say, uh, you know, please buy shampoo, please buy conditioner. We gotta make that money. Uh, that isn't the case here. It's really a much bigger picture here. Bosley has this whole hair restoration business. They really see these products as being an adjunct to that, of helping salons understand more about hair restoration. Because they know through research, that consumers go to stylists first to ask about hair restoration. So we really want the salons to be educated to learn more. Come see us. Uh, I think uh, you're going to be in for a surprise. A million and a half dollars a month in advertising. Uh, 60,000 unique hits on our website every single month. A special salon program that just does so many things for the salon. I mean, for the salon alone, we're going to list them on our website. And we've got the traditional free back bar product for them. We've got rebates on product for them, um, classes on hair restoration, and again, uh, driving people into their salons because with these 30,000 people a month that are calling us, they have to go somewhere to get their haircut. We'd like to take them and put them in a Bosley salon. The Bosley medical hair care products are going to provide salons with the first ever opportunity to sell products to men with thinning hair in a brand the consumer already knows and trusts, Bosley Medical. John O'Hanessi, and Bosley's president, has directed the tremendous success of Bosley clinics around the country and now plans to share the wealth, so to speak, with the distributors of the new hair care line. We've been taking care of people for 27 years with their hair, their hair problems. We felt, let's find a way to give them a product, something that they can use every day taking care of their hair. It's not going to grow your hair. It's not going to keep it from falling out. But it's going to give you a nice, healthy-looking, full-looking head of hair. And so we made that decision to move into that line. It's got to be a tremendous advantage to your distributors to know that a um, million and a half dollars a month is going out of the door here in order to promote a product line that they're now going to be able to carry in their salons and to drive people into the salons. A big benefit to your distributors. Well, we not only have that as an opportunity, we get about 15,000 responses per month to our advertising, people who ask for literature 
about hair loss. Within that literature, they will also get a brochure about healthy hair care, the products, the hair care products. 15,000 different people every single month. That's 180,000 people per year. In addition to that, on our website, which we get a great deal of traffic, something like 65,000 unique visitors per month, different people per month. There is a section on the healthy hair care line on the website. In addition to that, as we are able and as we bring along salons to carry the products, we will also have a directory of salons that are part of the Bosley family so that when People who come to us for hair loss information, hair care products, are interested in having a stylist or a salon take care of them. They can go to the Bosley website and find a local salon in their community from our directory. As you look across the country and, and um, start to talk to distributors and, and decide who's going to come on board with this product line, what do you look for? I mean, what kind of distributor, what kind of company are you looking for? We are looking for distributors that can help us penetrate the sort of upper echelon salon, this product line is not for every salon in the country. We're not trying to have penetration into every salon in America. We want to go after those salons that want to be involved with Bosley as a partner, where they want to be able to provide good information to their client about hair loss. And if they want to address the problem, they can come to us. This is such a beautiful place, and actually it's one of a kind on Miami Beach, isn't it? I mean, it's, now it is. It really is. It was the first hotel that Miami Beach built in some 30 years. And Miami Beach saw a need for more quality hotel rooms on, in the city, so they put out an RFP and we competed with all the big boys, and Lowe's won the contract because we're such a unique hotel company. Wow. Why is it, Jeff, do you think that it's been so long since I mean, hotels have not been built here for a long time, like you say. Why, why didn't that happen? You know, for a long time, the emphasis was on refurbishing the small Art Deco hotels. That Miami, trying to attract big conventions, needed a major convention center hotel. Therefore, they put out the RFP and we built the Lowe's here. So we've got a big hotel, yet a small hotel in the St. Moritz Tower. Yeah. The St. Moritz actually is a historical landmark, true? Yeah, oh, definitely. It was built back in the 30s. We totally restored it. We have the original floors. It houses the Gaucho Room, which is our South American Grand Grill. It has the kids' camp, the fitness center, hair salon. I love it. it personally, it's my favorite place to stay. Jeff, let's talk about the convention facilities, because you look at this place, and it is a gorgeous hotel, but it also must be a very, very attractive for people that are coming down here for conventions and meetings, true? Yeah, we have 65,000 square feet of meeting space, and while that sounds like a lot of space, you still feel very intimate, and that's very important to us. What do you like best about this hotel? The St. Moritz. It's a beautiful, fabulous, restored Art Deco place, as we discussed, and it just makes you feel right at home. If you have more than one person in your in-house graphics department, chances are you're kidding yourself, and it's costing you money. WPI Graphic Services, the industry leader in design, pre-press, printing, and mailing, digital photography, and distribution knows what you need, and they can save you money, guaranteed. For over a decade, WPI Graphic Services has been creating high-quality sell sheets, newspapers, brochures, catalogs, and all types of promotional materials for the industry's top distributors and manufacturers. If you're spinning your wheels and spending your money trying to produce in-house what WPI Graphic Services can produce for you, it's time you got out the calculator and looked at the bottom line. WPI buys millions in printing every year. You can't beat their printing prices. WPI buys new high-tech equipment the moment it's available to save you time and money. From digital pre-press through printing, custom mailing to CDs and website design, WPI Graphic Services has the people and the resources to get the job done. If you think you're saving money trying to do it in-house, think again. If you have more than one person doing in-house graphics, WPI can save you money. And if you have no one, then you definitely need them. See Frank Hendricks at booth 211 on the convention floor. WPI Graphic Services, making technology work for you.
Don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, the lovely and talented Susie Fields Carter, her husband, not quite as lovely, but equally talented, Bert Carter, yourbeautynetwork.com, Salon Training International. These people know everything there is to know about business and business training and increasing your bottom line, whether you're a distributor or a manufacturer. We're going to tell you why and how that works when we come back here in beautiful, hot, humid Miami Beach. Thanks, <laughs> folks. You could have taken me to Cancun or something. <laughs> I believe in the one roof concept. I believe it's time that the industry should come together, if not in toto, at least in thinking, with, with, a, dis, with a, a division of our industry where everyone is playing their own game and, and, and uh, playing to their own drummer. It's not, it doesn't make for a cohesive force, a driving force, which is what we need today in our industry. My father actually joined the BBSI, and he was the one that taught me the value of it. As a little boy, I used to run around the BBSI, get his, his program stamped so that he could get a, tra a train fare back and forth from my distributorship to the, to the uh, Chicago or New York or wherever it was. Uh, I learned some valuable lessons from some great industry people in those years. I always felt that the BBSI was an integral part of our industry and probably one of the most important parts that a distributor could play in. I think if you look at our one roof concept and our one roof philosophy that it's a, it's a personal experience, it's something that you participate in, that's what we want the annual convention to become. Traditionally, the annual convention was a place for distributors and manufacturers to interact Order, order new products from the distributor end for the manufacturers to pick up new distribution lines. We want to maintain the integrity and values that the BBSI convention was originally founded on, but we will also want to create a world in which you can participate in it in a manner that's consistent with the needs of your business. If, you're, if your business is at a point where you need fresh ideas, you need trends, you need new contacts in the industry for whatever reason, if, you're, if you have a new staff that needs education, if you have a more mature staff that needs a different level of education, if you're a salon owner, a distributor, a manufacturer, and even a consumer to a degree, one of the, one of the visions that our board came up with when we talked about where we want the annual convention go is, we want the annual convention to be a showcase for the industry. And we showcase ourselves to ourselves more frequently than we showcase the professional beauty industry to the outside world and the consumers. It's not going to become a consumer show. There will probably be a consumer component to it, but we have to take the industry to a new level and we believe that we can do that by allowing people to participate under a roof, commonality of the industry, come all together, conduct business the way you want to conduct business, if it's traditional, if it's new, and also showcase our talents and strengths and in industry to the consumer to some degree. The location was beautiful, Miami Beach, at the annual YEC conference hosted by the BBSI. We came here to meet Susie Fields and Bert Carter. Susie, of course, well known in our industry as the leading business trainer with her company Salon Training International. Bert Carter has now brought the industry YourBeautyNetwork.com, an online training and consulting company for beauty professionals. We'll talk about YBN.com in just a moment, but let's start with Susie Fields. We sat down to talk about the amazing growth and the success of Salon Training International. The YEC. We should talk about that a little bit before we get started with other things because this is an important group for you. A lot of people here, everyone seems to know who you are. Mm -hmm. People come up to you, I notice, and say, oh, Susie, God, we love your tapes. <laughs> You deal with these people all the time. What kind of feedback do you get from them when you come to an event like this? What's the feedback? This is great because it's an informal event. It's outside of my work realm, so I get to really see what's happening out in the field um, from their perspective. I get to meet people I've never met before that maybe have bought our books and tapes, and I never knew they bought our books and tapes, which is kind of exciting, and they're big fans, and I didn't even know they were my fans, so that's pretty exciting. And this is the Young Executive Council, so these are the movers and the shakers, the people up and coming in the industry that are looking what, for what we have. I mean, they're more cutting edge and they're ready to make a difference in their business. So, you know, we get to relax, we get to play, we get to do some business, you know, and it's Florida. Susie, I mean, we've known you a long time, obviously. We've done this many times with you on the show. You started out, Susie Fields, the public speaker, 
became Susie Fields, the you know business um, expert. Now you've got uh, Salon Training International. You've got YourBeautyNetwork.com. You've got tapes, programs. You're a conglomerate now. You're no longer just Susie Fields. You aware of that? Yes and no. I mean, it just keeps growing and expanding. I mean, the thing that has made our business so successful is we keep listening to our customers, and that's the manufacturer, the distributor, and then the salon owner. So really looking at how can we serve the market, how can we serve the market, how can we serve the market. So every product that we've come out with has really been from our customers saying, this is what we need next. And that's exciting. I mean, we have three full-time trainers, two, two consultants that work with our company full-time. So our, our company has just exploded, which is exciting. Susie, so let's talk specifics because you offer things for distributors, you offer things for manufacturers. Let's start with distributors. Um, what specifically do you offer distributors that's different from what they get out there when they get all those direct mail pieces saying that we can help your business? What do you offer them? Well, our programs are tried, true, and proven. I mean, we're not offering ideas, we're not offering motivation, we're giving their customers the tools to grow their business, as well as their sales consultants the tools to grow their business. We launched Bottom Line Results last year, which is a phenomenal sales training program for their sales consultants. You know, we're speaking this year at BBSI, so people get a sense of how is it different? Because a lot of people get us confused with motivation and we don't do motivation. We do business training, business systems in order to increase the salon's productivity and profitability. I gotta interrupt you a second because if this isn't motivation, nothing is motivation. But look at these numbers. This is uh, what, this is a bu business building series that you did for Peels? Yes, in which time? Um, increase in sales, $266,448 from one program. That, that's motivation. Yeah, a lot of times distributors say, oh, I can't afford it. Hello, you can't afford not to do this. I mean, we do, when we do our business training, we go in for a three month period with 50 salon owners. We have the owners in the morning and we have the technicians in the afternoon. In the owners, we talk owner stuff. In the afternoon, we talk technician stuff. And we have them do homework. They have to fax our company every single week with homework and stats and we compile those stats. So we're looking at what were their numbers before they met with us and then what were their numbers 12 weeks later. And for a $266,000 increase, you can't beat that. Susie, what are your new programs for this year? It must have something new and exciting. What's, what's in store for the coming 12 months? Um, we're building on top of. We have an advanced course for this three-day program because people get the foundation of business, and I find the industry so hungry that now we have an advanced course for that. Our online university, which you talked about earlier, which is Your Beauty Network, is just another vehicle to keep salons and sales consultants in touch with us and help them grow their bottom line. And we're giving them systems and solutions we just keep fine-tuning and tweaking and keep making it better. Susie's impact on distributors can be measured easily. It shows up on their bottom line. Rather than our talking about how well her programs work, we thought we'd let you hear from a few of her clients. Oh, it's an excellent program. I went to the uh, program that she had for Frank Anthony, and there was probably about 25 people, and they were so motivated. It was like five, five hours of just total enthusiasm. It was wonderful. I listened to the tapes out on the road one day, and. Uh, David wanted to play him at the sales meeting and so for the last several months we've been taking a certain segment of our sales meeting playing these tapes in parts for our salon consultants. Well what we've done is uh, we've incorporated the payday tapes into our training with our reps. I'm the field sales manager so um, it's been real helpful. Our people are called salon consultants so we want them to learn really how to help people make money, how to service the accounts, how to work with them, uh, train with them and the tapes have been a very good help for us. Susie's tapes, uh, Payday, re-inspired me as a sales manager. I've been doing this for over 25 years and energized my sales force. We, took, we extracted a lot of material from those tapes, uh, most of all the intention part of it, having a plan, getting to the salon, knowing what you want to discuss, and achieving it. And we love it. And uh, we pass around the whole program to everybody, and they're all in tune to it now. So I thank Susie. <laughs> Susie, we're here at the, at the YEC. Why is this such an important group for you? Obviously, everybody knows you here. A lot of networking going on. A lot of your clients are here, yes? Yes. This is an amazing event. Just an opportunity for me outside of my regular business mode to network on a colleague level. Where, how can I support them in their business? What are they up to in their business? Most times I'm at a show, I'm in show mode. We're here, I just get to kick my shoes off and be colleague to colleague and find out what their needs are. and you know, see what role our company can play in their company. 
The other half of this dynamic duo is Bert Carter, who's been the business builder behind Suzy's business building programs. And now Bert's time is spent mostly with the industry's most unique website, yourbeautynetwork.com. The site designed to provide members with access to business tools and resources from the top educators in the country. It's the brainchild of Bert Carter. Very nice. Look at this stuff. Oh, a mouse pad. <laughs> Can I keep the mouse pad? <laughs> Most definitely. Um, let's talk about the fact that yourbeautynetwork.com, first of all, is .com, which has, you know, not been successful around the world, not to mention the beauty industry. How have you managed to make this a success since the get-go? Uh, I think because we actually have, it's based on an actual training company, Salon Training International. And really, Your Beauty Network is just focused on doing what we do in live seminars and just making it available via the internet. So it's just really using that medium instead of a live seminar or the phone, we're using the internet. We're here in Florida because you brought us down here, obviously. You have a lot of people here at the YEC talking about business, talking about uh, Salon Training International. Mm -hmm. What is the interest? in your beauty network at the distributed level? I mean, what is it that you're telling a distributor that this program can do for them? Well, we're finding that distributors really realize that business is, is, is and can be the unique advantage for them. So basically, we're looking for distributors to align with us to make more people aware of your beauty network and how it can help grow their clients, which in turn will help grow their sales, and it's directly reflected to their bottom line. Salons really are the group that take the best advantage for your beauty network. I would imagine what you've explained to me anyway is a salon can actually, correct me if I'm wrong, log on and get instant answers to questions that otherwise they would have had to have a pretty high powered seminar to answer. Is that true? True. They're getting information that they need on a daily basis, on a daily basis, not waiting three months or six months for a seminar to come in town. But if they have a question, they can get the information that day that will impact that day's business and we think that's what they're really looking for. Bert, when you talk to distributors about yourbeautynetwork.com, what are you asking them to do? What do you want them to actually do to participate? I want distributors to partner with us. We've created actually a very win-win type of relationship where it doesn't cost them anything. We actually pay them a commission to help people find out about Your Beauty Network, as well as we help grow their clients, which will buy more for them and grow their bottom line. So it's really there's not a lot of risk on a distributor side. We, I want people to know we are exclusively a business site. We are not a product site. We are not a manufacturer site. We are about providing business tools and resources to salon and spa owners. That's our slogan. Talk about this specifically because this is the, the package that I guess a distributor can get and they can actually put into their packages with all, tell me about this, how does this detail, how does it work for distributors? If a distributor is interested, basically what we'll do is we'll do a launch for their entire sales force. So their sales force knows how to answer the questions of what is your beauty network. Then we supply them free of charge with a marketing flyer to insert into their product shipments. So they don't have any additional costs here. They insert those into their product shipments. If a salon signs up, then that's when we take over. So we're really not asking anything more from the distributor than to say I'm interested and then basically we go to work in terms of educating and growing their salons for them. Tell me about YBN. What is it you want distributors to know? I want distributors to know that what we're committed to is growing their customers. That's what we do. We're a business resource started by former salon owners. We own Salon Training International. We are a unbelievable partner for them to really help them to be unique in their market, grow their customers and grow their sales in a very strategic, powerful way. We are the partners. We can do that for you. And there's not a lot of commitment on your, on your side. Just, we just want opportunity to reach those customers in your market and help them grow. Our mission is is to make a difference so when we don't have the answers what we like to do is we like to outsource and that's where Susie came in and her company so we had a seminar down in Oregon and it was for the booth rental lease situation on how to increase their income in their business and uh, it was very successful uh, she delivered powerful information that was um, ready for the streets. Uh, they were able to go back into their salon and immediately apply what they learned, which is the most important thing. We go to training all the time, but uh, it's what we do with it afterwards that really counts. 
we're the resource. If you're looking for business solutions, you're looking for business training, you want to see a difference in your, in your distribution, you need to hire us because we make a difference in your business. We're not about, you know, giving people ideas. We have a staff of people that are waiting to serve. We have amazing trainers. It takes five to seven years to be a trainer with our company. So we're really serious about the people that work for us. So when you're ready to do something different in your business, you definitely need to hire us. And when you look at the results, it's free. It is. It's summer BBSI, and once again, it's time to see the latest from the industry's leading brush maker for over 40 years, Spornet. Spornet's new Buy Bristle Brush features a unique combination of crimped and straight nylon bristles, and they're completely sterilizable in all solutions. Spornet's Sonique vents and aerated sculpted brushes are very attractive. Just five brushes in this high-tech display, perfect for any store or salon retailing. For a limited time, you can get a pure bore bristle two-sided straightening brush free with the purchase of America's most popular aerated rounders, the Tegu Collection. Spornet's most popular nylon rounders, the 960, 962, and 964 XL brushes are now accompanied with a great salon or OTC gift. Three vented tunnel brushes in a multi-use caddy. Get one free with each dozen nylon rounders. Spornet snakeskin vents and cushion brushes are today's fashion rage and what your customers want. With Spornet, you can count on a steady stream of promotions with new brushes every 60 days, making your ad and promotion planning easy. Spending just 10 minutes with your Spornet rep can take care of all your brush needs, allowing your buyers more time to concentrate on other products. More than ever, Spornet is the name to know when it comes to filling all a distributor's brush needs. Well, you know, we we're going to bring you out here and, and talk a little bit more about this beautiful pool at, uh, at the Lowe's Miami Beach here. But the fact of the matter is, as you can see, the pool is closed. Um, lightning, thunder, it's that typical afternoon storm. And it's too bad because if we walk around here, it's such a beautiful pool. Nobody, of course, in their right mind would be uh, lying in the sun or trying to lie by a pool in weather like this. Because not only is it silly, but it's also dangerous because lightning can strike you. Oh my God, look who's here. Bert and Susie. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm just talking about how, listen to this thunder, how nobody can be at the pool. The pool is closed and here you are. Why are you at the pool? Because the pool is a place to be. We're hanging out. We're in Florida. Thunderstorm, rain. lightning. <laughs> no way. You see it, lightning? What? Listen, why are you guys, I mean, you know, typically the sun. You lie in the pool in the sun, you're about to get completely we feel, obliterated. We feel comfortable in stormy weather. It's what we deal with in our business. Oh, is that a yes. pun? Yes. Stormy weather in the business. Customers. You work so hard, I know, any minute you can have, right? Exactly. I am on the road every single weekend working with distributors, helping them. I finally get a chance to lay down. I don't care if it's raining. I'm being horizontal. Yeah, well, let me tell you, folks, not only is it raining, but it's lightning, thunder. You're standing under a metal umbrella. <laughs> I, for one, no, sir, I'm going to go, I'm going back in. Yeah. Hey, listen, don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, Jay Contrusi, the Senior Vice President of Beauty Systems Group, that's BSG to you and me, here at the uh, humongous warehouse in Greenville, Ohio, a hotbed of distribution activity, I must say. That's right. You sure know that? Is, sure is. It's a hotbed. Sure is. Very when we hot. come back on Profiles, don't go away. You with me? It's time for another Spotlight here on Profiles, and with me, a good friend of mine. I've known Tony Wells in the beauty industry since 1970-something, long, long time. We go way back. Um, doing very well now, and you are what? The Vice President, General Manager of Kuhn. How do you say that? Kuhn? Kuhn. Kuhn. K-E-U-N-E. -E. Terrific, extensive, beautiful hair care line from Holland. Tony, I gotta say, you know, for the most part, we think of uh, hair care has come to this country from France, of course, come to this country from Germany. We don't normally see hair care from Holland. Not a lot of influence in the United States until now, but Kuhn has been a company for 80 years and in the beauty industry all of those years. Started out as a, actually as a permanent wave company in the red light district of Amsterdam. Really? 80 years? 
Uh, yes, for 80 years. You know, when you think about that, there aren't any beauty industry companies in this country that are 80 years old. No, and this is third generation, family owned corporation, and the third generation who's just recently taken sort of the head of the company is a very young man um, in the prime with small children, and the expectation, of course, is that it remains a family business. Tony, what's the goal? You've got a terrific hair care line. You've got everything from uh, fabulous hair color to shampoos and conditioners and styling tools and aids and, and all this, everything you could possibly want. What, what's the plan? I mean, how are you going to take this line now to the professional industry here in this country? I think that it's really capturing and counting on the uniqueness and the point of difference that we have as an 80-year-old company with today's technology behind us. And so you're marrying um, tradition with new technology in order to bring the finest, highest quality products to the professional stylist. Mm -hmm. That's where we focus our product line. Ours is called the art of hair design. And we understand that hairdressers went to school to um, do hair and to have the passion for doing hair and we provide them with the tools to enable them to meet the needs and service the needs of their clients. You know I gotta say looking at your promotional material, the books, the brochures, the color chart, um, the quality of the paper, the quality of the photography, the gorgeous European models, you've got some really great stuff there. This must be a, a real advantage to you when you go into distributors. It's an incredible benefit. They do such a fine job. It's, a, it's the whole European elegance that I believe stimulates, the, especially the mindset here in America. You can't help but look at the literature and the image of our organization and be inspired by it. Tony, let's say that five manufacturers are going in to see a distributor here at the BBSI and have their meetings and talk about their company. What is it that you're going to be saying about Kuhn that's going to be different from what other companies are going to be saying about their product? Interesting question. And I really do believe it comes back down to product performance, corporate performance, 80 years of history, technology that is, is, can be used today, and a point of difference of the fine European elegant look and just being in the United States today as a brand new company. And the, although there are new companies out there, how many of them have the financial support, the technology, the um, image that we can offer them uh, when they're trying to find a line to service the needs of their clients? What about education? Uh, obviously an important part of everything to a distributor. Of course, and we're as professional service line, and so one of the things we have to do is have a great educational system. We have part-time employees. We are actually seeking and have budgeted in right now for many, many new-time full-time employees as well. So we will have an educational system that the distributor can rely upon to service the needs of their clients. Is this a ground floor opportunity? Yes, yes very much a ground floor opportunity, one that you would never want to miss. Tony, it's always good to see you. Congratulations on this great job. And the company seems like they're just terrific. Thank you. Have you been to Holland? Yes, I have. Go, go as, as many times as you can. Exactly. Bring back flowers. Ah. They have great flowers in Holland. <laughs> so you can meet Tony and all the people at Kuhn on the convention floor, booth 178, or you can see them in meeting room four. Talk to Tony Wells, ask her anything you want to know about Kuhn hair care from Holland because she knows it all. She didn't write the book because she's not 80 years old, but she'll definitely <laughs> explain to you why this is a wonderful company. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. As always, good to have you on the show. We'll be back with more profiles right after this. And you do look terrific, by the way. It must be the human hair care stuff. Don't go away. Profiles will be right back from Miami. I think the TSA really to me, what it is, is, is a great opportunity to get to know uh, a variety of people in the industry and share uh, knowledge, share successes, some of our challenges. Uh, I think that it provides a venue for people to grow in the way that they want to grow. And also, I think that it, within the one roof, it, it brings salon owners into the world of, of beauty with manufacturers and distributors to partner on issues that affect all of us. Other associations are looking at our association because of the interest and the buzz. And the reason there is such a buzz is because we finally have an association within our industry where people can go and learn 
extremely valuable things, network with other leaders, network with other people within the industry who are on their level, uh, people who are above their level, people who are doing are smaller businesses but are more experienced, and take the information back to their locations, their businesses, and run with it. And then not only take it back, but then have a constant stream of networking that they can call, email people daily, hourly, asking for more advice. And there's never been that, associate, that kind of um, help within any association. I think one of the most important things that TSA offers a salon owner is the opportunity to participate uh, in the process, to make a difference, not just to sit there and react to events, but to actually become involved in shaping them. Well, as you might be able to tell, I am in a warehouse somewhere in the United States. Actually, I am in Greenville, Ohio. And I am in not just a warehouse, I am in a super warehouse. We are at the main warehouse. I say that because there are 11 uh, at Beauty Systems Group, BSG. I got a call not too long ago from the senior vice president, Jay Contrusi, who said he'd like us to come down here and uh, take a few minutes with them and talk about what this company is doing that's very special to the beauty industry. As you may know, for the last five years, this company has become almost iconic in the beauty industry in regards to success. It seems like BSG can pretty much do no wrong. The fact of the matter is they have done a lot of things right. They have shown distributors around the country how to run their businesses better, how to become more profitable using the synergy that they have gained under the umbrella of BSG has been a tremendous success story for a number of distributors whom you all know very, very well. Uh, what Jay is doing here and what Mike Renzulli is doing, and you'll talk to Mike, and we're gonna talk to Mike later on, they have developed a system that they hope will completely eliminate diversion in the next few years. Now, we know that many companies have been fighting diversion for a long time, but what BSG feels is that the distributor is gonna to have to get into the act in a big way to really stop diversion. They actually feel, and Jay feels, that if they don't stop diversion, it will literally kill or be the death of the beauty industry, and they are determined to do something about it. So we've come here to Greenville, Ohio, 130,000 square foot, 30 feet tall, 2,400 order a day warehouse of Beauty Systems Group to talk to Jay, to Mike Renzulli, the other people here, and find out exactly what it is that BSG is doing so right. This isn't just beauty business, this is big beauty business. Beauty Systems Group is fast becoming the example to live up to when it comes to making a supply house work and work really well. From the automated picking systems to fully barcoded tracking to computer shipping, the warehouse has it all. Senior Vice President Jay Contrusi met me at the Greenville Warehouse to talk about the BSG business and why it seems to work so well. We spend a lot of time with the people down here. There's a lot of training involved. We've got a wonderful guy running it. And this is actually the prototype of all of our distribution centers to come. How many will that be? I'm not sure. It depends how, how much territory we keep going into, but you know, it could be 12 or 15 across the country. Let's talk about this one specifically, because as you say, this is a, a prototype. Right. How big is it? How much um, inventory do you have here? A lot, obviously a lot of money goes through this place right every day. day. This building itself is 130,000 square feet, 30 foot ceilings. We sit on roughly nine acres of land, so we can expand it another 100,000 square feet if we need to. Right now, you're looking at about $17.5 million in inventory. Wow. Jay, what is it that you think that this company, BSG, does that maybe because of your size, because of your experience, because of the support that you've got, that other distributors maybe don't do and should do from an operations standpoint? What have you learned in your growth and your size? Uh, we're putting a lot of money into our infrastructure. We're constantly training people, as these people here you're seeing, but also our outside salespeople, our store people. We're trying to get as close as possible to all of our salon customers. We're trying to keep them as healthy as possible because that's what's going to keep us healthy. Right. And one of the things we'll talk about is our anti-diversion measure that's as part of that process. Let's do talk about that a little bit because I know that is uh, certainly one of the reasons we're here and certainly something that this company is doing. It seems to be more than any other distributor has really tried to do to fight diversion. Honestly, I thought that weight of all that was pretty much on the manufacturer. That's just not the way you look at it. Is not it? at all. I think the industry has felt that for many years. We think it's time that distribution get, takes an active role. If we're going to solve this problem, and it's a serious problem. It's going to take all of us in conjunction. What are you doing? We've got, we've programmed our own anti-diversion software in our computer system. We're watch, we're tracking every bottle of product that we ship out of here to every customer. 
So at a moment's notice, we can check and find out exactly where that shampoo or whatever went to, whatever mm -hmm. customer. Jay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that that was already kind of the status quo, that, that all distributors now track merchandise. No, not true? Not true. It's, it's almost impossible to do that without this type of um, IS support. We track every single bottle to every single order. In the, the older way of doing it, some distributors, and we were included, would track certain orders of certain accounts based on how we felt about that account, completely subjective measures. Now we, we track everything. So when it comes back, we know right where it went. Okay, so I'm a manufacturer. Mm -hmm. I sell my product to you. Mm -hmm. I put numbers on my product, some kind of code. Correct. Are you telling me that then, if that product ever goes to the wrong place, that you know what salon that product went to? Yes, and that's where it's unique. With that number, we can get in our system and find out exactly what salon we shipped it to. And then we have the basis of the problem. Big money invested in this? Very big money. Um, not just in the programming design, but the extra labor it takes here to just to operate it. And also, the, the amount of sales that we're cutting off. We've, to date, we've cut off in excess of a million dollars in sales. Just cut off? Just cut off. Why? Because we knew they were going into diversion activities. We had proof of it. And at some point, you, just, you, can't, you can't allow it to happen. You just got to cut it. And we did. Yeah. And we'll continue. I really, I really love looking around these places because you see so much, um, so much neat stuff. You know, I mean, there's just so many products. The thing about uh, BSG, of course, is in the last five years, they've pretty much changed the face of the beauty industry, which is what they set out to do when they decided to become BSG and they started to um, uh, buy distributorships around the country. The thought was, oh my God, what's going to happen? It's going to change the beauty industry forever. It's all going to be BSG. Well, the fact of the matter is, they have changed the beauty industry, but not the way a lot of people thought it was going to happen. It's changed for the better. It's changed for the better for those distributors that uh, sold their operations to BSG because they became better at what they did. Victory is still Victory Beauty Supply for many, many years, as we have talked about. Um, Davidson still is Davidson's. They've got their accounts. They've got their salespeople. But they've got the benefit now of this tremendous infrastructure of a BSG Beauty Systems Group, Jay Contrusi and the people that know how to make their business run better. They get all the advantages of the synergism that is now BSG. And of course, what's going to happen now with their tremendous push towards anti-diversion is it will continue again to change the face of the beauty industry and again to change it for the better. When you ship as many orders as they do at BSG, the system simply has to work. At BSG, the job of making that all happen falls on the director of distribution, James Gagne, who most people call simply Roper. Director of distribution for an operation this big is a major, major job. You're awfully cool, calm, and collected, considering you got how much stuff going on here. Give us an idea. Well, we do about anywhere from 1,800, 2,400 orders a day. We service 164 stores out of here. And we're currently carrying about 14,000, roughly 15,000 SKUs. So there's a lot to manage. Wow. Let's talk about diversion because that's what this whole thing is about. How can we know what's in that box, where it's going, and how can you track it later on? What we're doing now is our MIS department has developed a system where we're able to scan a barcode on, on our products. And what that does is it goes into our computer uh, base and then when that product ends up in a place where it's not supposed to be, they will call us and we'll be able to pull up that information, know exactly who we sold it to. Jay and I spent the better part of an hour looking around this huge warehouse in Ohio. It's the prototype of BSG warehouses to come. Well, you know, this is such a tremendous place here uh, at Beauty Systems Group in Ohio. And uh, Jay Contrusi, of course, has so much to talk about. And we were kind of hoping that Mike Renzulli would be here, but Mike, with his uh, tremendously busy schedule, of course, he is kind of uh, in charge, as we want to call him. Uh, couldn't be with us today, but we've managed through the uh, miracle of video television and a little bit of electronics to uh, connect with Mike Renzulli, who is actually in his office in uh, Denton, Texas, that hotbed of uh, commercial activity. And uh, Mike, can you hear me? Yes. How are you doing, Rick? Good. I noticed you've managed to put on a beauty systems group hat for this morning. That's good. Absolutely. Always got to have my hat on. You wear a lot of hats, don't you? Oh, uh, I wear dozens of them. I know. Well, we won't get into that, though. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about um, why we're actually here talking to Jay and the people uh, here in Ohio at Beauty Systems Group, because it's really all about what this company 
has decided to do, and I'm sure at your direction, about uh, diversion. Let's talk about diversion for a second. How do you define that term in the industry? I define diversion as products that are intended only for professional use or resale that are stocked by retail outlets. And that's pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. Yes. Uh, that, that's, that's my version of diversion. Do you consider this to be still a big problem? Do you think it's a bigger problem than it used to be? Absolutely, and I think it's getting worse. And what happens is salon profits are lowered because salon patrons buy professional products and retail outlets. Also, retail distribution blurs the brand image and takes away the mystique of professional products. The professional mystique? Yes. What's, what's Beauty Systems Group? Uh, what is your position, your official position, on diversion as far as your manufacturers go and, of course, your, your distribution centers around the country? Okay, what we're doing is, and it's costing us millions of dollars, by the way, in sales, but we're going to talk the talk and we're going to walk the walk. We're determined to help stop diversion. We're ceased doing business with dozens of salons who sell products to collectors. And we hope other distributors will follow our lead. Mike, if, if you could completely and totally eliminate diversion, which I know ultimately probably is your goal, and, I, and, and it probably will happen because things tend to go your way uh, over the years, but what's going to be the benefit? I mean, what are we going to see in the professional beauty industry as the ultimate benefit if you can eliminate diversion completely? It makes a more profitable, stronger beauty industry. It's something we have to do because if we don't, we're going to kill the goose that lays the golden egg. The goose that lays the golden egg. You believe that, don't you? Absolutely. We have a wonderful industry, and I'm here to protect it. Mike, uh, this is a good opportunity for you, uh, certainly one of the uh, more iconic people in the beauty industry, and certainly more important than most to a lot of people in this uh, beauty industry. What would you like to say as far as what's, what we can expect to see from BSG in the next year, two years, five years down the line? What are we looking for? We will continue to do what we've done in the past. We'll try to make our company better for our customers. We will spend time and money to elevate the beauty stylist, to bring more people into the profession, and to make it a more professional and profitable profession for everyone. Sounds good to me. And next time, we're going to give you a profiles hat to wear, OK? I love it. So, sorry you couldn't be with us, but uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day. And now I know you've got to get to work. so. Uh, We'll do the same here, and we'll see you at the BBSI. Good seeing you, Rick. Good talk. All right, Mike. Well, we're just about out of time. It's kind of like visiting Disneyland. You just can't do it all in one visit. I will say, though, that the time I spent with Jay Contrusi at BSG was a real eye-opener. The company and their distributorships are making some serious changes in the fight against diversion. I asked Jay if the perception of BSG today has lived up to the original plan. The truth is we, we've grown to be quite large. Um, but we've kept the fundamentals of the industry. We, we are still right here, we're service beauty supply. In New York State, we're Loeffler Beauty Supply. In Chicago, we're Victory. We've kept all the fundamentals, all the, the rules that this industry always operated on, and we're trying to protect those now. You know, you see all kinds of stuff here on South Beach. Uh, beautiful people, of course, running all around, and uh, great restaurants and bars and clubs and strange sand castles. Uh, Justin, tell me about this. How long did it take to build? How often do you do it, and what's the point? Well, uh, it took about 80 hours to build originally. Uh, we did five-gallon buckets of sand and a Red Rider wagon and dragged them around till we had piled up enough sand here. It took us about 80 hours, roughly six days to build it originally and drunk people at 3 in the morning and really hard rain are about the only thing that causes it a problem. Uh, we build on it every single day and any repairs that need to be made from weather or bottles or whatever. Um, our two main artists are Victor Leong and Steve Elliott. Uh, I help with Steve, make sure nobody messes with it during the day and keep everything running smooth, get the tips, explain to everybody what's going on, what the story is behind it. Uh, the dream is eventually to have enough money to be able to get the city uh, to pay them to bring in five tons. We want to build a castle that's big enough to where we can actually walk on the walls around it. Oh, wow. Cool. And how much money is that going to take? Uh, actually, it'll take us about $3,000. Mm -hmm. 
You can't get the city to give you $3,000. Nope. Uh, we know people in the beauty industry that would give you $3,000. <laughs> Very that good. Congratulations. How long has it been up now? It's been up for about four months. You had big rain yesterday. didn't hurt? It rained for two hours yesterday, and we got a little bit of damage here. There's a couple of ships that have been messed up and a couple of towers, but uh, we spent about an hour on it, and it was perfectly fine. Yeah, it looks like it's going to rain today. That's not a worry. No, it's going to rain today. No, no, it's not. It's going to rain. Com I'm in complete rain, denial. Sand cat. Okay, never mind. We'll be back with more profiles right after this. Don't go away. It's going to rain. No. At Printco Graphics, service makes the difference, and providing good service means providing total service. With their experienced staff of pre-press and printing professionals, Printco can provide everything you need to complete your job from concept to mailing. They can design your project regardless of your budget. They do deal sheets, catalogs, newsletters, brochures. Need digital photography? Printco's high-end digital photos can save you time and money over traditional methods. They offer the highest quality single, two, three, or four color printing. Printco's bindery offers twin loop, saddle stitch, perfect bound, wire O, spiral, glue, or stapling to finish your product. If you have unique needs, Printco can fill them. Packages, unique die cutting or folding, inserts, you name it, Printco provides it. High tech direct to plate printing too. Design, finishing, and binding. Versatile services in a one stop shop makes Printco the answer for all your printing needs. Visit Printco at booth 1124 on the convention floor. Printco Graphics, where service makes the difference. Don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, Leland Hirsch with the son of his uh, distributor here in Florida. Hi. And we are going to bring you to the party that Leland has thrown for five, six hundred great hairdressers who are just loving the brand new Artec hair color. Don't go away. There's more to come right here on Profiles. The heir to the throne. It's time for another Spotlight here on Profiles, and with me is Ken Krebs, the president of Beneficial Capital Leasing, the company that knows more of what this industry needs than anybody, and that would be money. money. Financing, really, is what you're all about, true? True. The beauty industry typically is not something that the financial industry, specifically the financing industry, has looked at and said, wow, we got to get into that business, the beauty industry. And yet, this is what you specialize in. Yes, it is. No, you're right. Traditionally, it's, it's an industry that uh, many finance companies have stayed away from. But since 1992, we've been focusing on the industry. You know, our industry is full of entrepreneurs at all levels, and especially uh, a lot of salon owners started out as hairdressers, and they want to build a salon. Entrepreneurs are typically difficult to finance, no matter how secure they really are or how good their business is, and yet you seem to be able to really get in there and get people financed where a bank or maybe another uh, leasing company just wouldn't be able to do it. How do you manage to do that? Well, we've been doing it for eight, eight, nine years. The people that in our company have backgrounds in the financial industry. So we, we can look at a, when, when, an when a company comes to us for finance, we don't just look at that application and, and put it through a checklist and decide if it's good or not. We, will, we know the industry well. We know the financing industry. We get to know the applicants and we look at each one individually. And we uh, we pride ourselves on finding the strengths that they have and, and making it a, a doable deal. You know, Ken, it would seem to me that when you help a distributor uh, by financing uh, their client, when they come to you and say, we've got this person with a salon, we need to finance new equipment, new inventory, whatever, when you take that client and you get them the financing they need, which you are so good at doing, you're really helping increase the distributor sales. True. We've always chosen to get our business from distributors. We've tried to develop partnerships with many of the, the leading distributors and manufacturers in the industry. And when they refer a transaction to us, we take that very seriously. We try to give something back. And that's by, we, how we do that is by going the extra mile and, ex, and trying to approve more of their transactions than they're used to getting approved mm -hmm. and, and approving them for a larger amount. And, and to go a step further, what we've done is instead of just financing equipment and furniture and, and the things that are traditionally financed by companies like us, we'll do construction, uh, build out, uh, we'll, we'll finance inventory for retail sales, that type of thing. So we've tried to widen up what we can do for them. Ken, do you ever sit down with a distributor or a manufacturer and say, let's work out a program that you can take to the salons, to your customers, and offer them? So really, before it's even needed, you develop a program for them that would actually help them make the sale? Do you do that? That's a good question. That's exactly what we do. We try to sit down with uh, our 
manufacturer and distributor clients and to see what they need. We, we understand their clientele. We try to get to know their clientele very well and decide how we can build their business. I know that you've worked some special programs for a couple of uh, major clients of yours, Wella, I know, and Belvedere Company, where you've worked out some packages, that, programs for them that actually allows them to offer as little as, what, 1% or 2% financing, something uh, like that? Down to 1.9%. That's amazing. I, I, it's very difficult to match that. It is, truly. Mm -hmm. I would imagine if I were a distributor that part of the problem of being in business would be uh, getting these large, larger purchases financed and getting my customers financing when they need it. Do you find that this is what distributors are asking for a lot? Yeah, we, we, we do get that a lot. And um, I don't want to give people the opinion that we just buy um, uncreditworthy type applications. But because we know the industry well, and again, because we go, we go beyond the surface, we know the industry very well. We can approve more transactions than typical, le than typical leasing companies can mm -hmm. approve. What is a distributor typically, uh, what's the success rate typically for a distributor in trying to get people financed for their project? Now that's hard to say, but I'm going to guess probably, depending on the distributor, anywhere from 40 to 50 percent um, really? approval rate would be typical, I think. And we've been able to increase that 10, 20 percent, I believe. That increases sales for the distributor, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And because of our programs, we're able to not only increase the number of their sales, we can increase the size of their sales. Wow. Ken, what do you want the distributors and the manufacturers to know here? I mean, when they come down to your booth, what do you want them to be asking? What will you be offering them? Our objective is to help them build their sales. So the, the companies that have been working with, with us for the year, over the years, I think, understand that. We'd like them to come by and see us and see if there's anything else we can do for them. The people that don't know us, the companies haven't worked with us in the past, we'd ask them to come by, uh, visit with us, give us an idea of what they're doing now and that type of thing, see if we can in increase their sales. Ken Krebs, the president of Beneficial Capital Leasing, the man that knows more about money, more about financing for your business. Come down and see him. Uh, he'll be walking around the convention floor. He's a tall, good-looking guy. But uh, whatever you need to know about financing, about helping your business and helping your customers get financing, Beneficial Capital Leasing is the company. They know more about it, do more of, of it in the beauty industry than anybody. True? Absolutely. True. Nobody does it better. Nobody. 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 That's good. Thanks for being with us on the show. Thank you. We'll be back with more profiles right after this. Don't go away. Nobody does it better.